there, friends! Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Today, we're celebrating Earth Day. Yay! Earth Day, Earth Day, Earth Day! Queer Kid Stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. You ready, Teddy? Ready, Lindsay. Okay, today we are celebrating Earth Day. We're talking about our favorite place in the whole entire universe, our home, our planet. Earth! That's right, Teddy. Did you know that today the Earth is more than four and a half billion years old? Whoa, that is super, super, super duper, uber dee super, super old. Yeah, it's really, really old, Teddy. And it's super important to take care of things and respect things when they're really old like that. Right, Teddy? That's right, Lindsay. Well, Teddy, I've got some bad news for you. Oh no, oh no, I don't want to know. Well, I have to tell you because it's really important. Okay. The Earth is sick. It is? Yeah, it's really sick. But that's not good. How can the Earth be sick? It's where we live. Exactly, Teddy. That's why it's really important to understand why the Earth is sick and how we can help make it better. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I need to know. Let's bring in my friend Miriam. She's going to talk to us about climate change. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miriam. OK, OK, OK. What are your pronouns, and how do you identify? I use she, her pronouns, and identify as a queer woman. And what on earth is climate change? That is an excellent question, Teddy. Climate change is also called global warming. It means the Earth is getting hot, but it also means that the normal weather patterns we've gotten used to are changing. That's something called global weirding. <laughs> okay, so that's what Lindsay meant when they said the Earth is sick? It's like when I'm sick and my head feels all hot, but I feel all cold and I get shivers and I have to take medicine. Yeah, it's kind of like the Earth has a fever. Yeah, that's a pretty good way of putting it. The Earth is getting warmer and as it gets warmer, it gets sicker and sicker and things get worse for everyone living on it. Wait, what? But we live on Earth. That's right. Climate change is bad for plants, it's bad for animals, and it's even bad for humans. But can't the Earth get better? When I have that, my papa bear gives me medicine and it gets better. Can we do that for the Earth? Mm, not exactly. It's going to take a lot of work to make the Earth better and reduce the impacts of climate change. And it's something we have to work on together. It's a community effort. That's right. Lindsay? Miriam? What is it, Teddy? I'm... I'm scared. What if... What if the Earth doesn't get better? Well, that's something we're all scared of, Teddy. It's okay to be scared and worried about climate change. It's a scary thing, but you know what us activists do when there's something we want to change. We, um, we try to fix it? That's right, Teddy, we can try to fix it. And you definitely don't need to be a grown-up to do something about it. Last summer, a 16-year-old from Sweden named Greta Thunberg started a strike for climate change and millions of students across the world joined her in March. It was pretty cool. But you don't have to start a whole movement to get involved. What's most important is talking to your family about how you all can work together to lower something called your carbon footprint. What is that? Your carbon footprint is about how much carbon dioxide you put into the atmosphere. A long time ago, people figured out that we could burn things we found in the ground to create energy. That's what makes our cars move, turns on the lights, and creates all sorts of things that we use every day. But when we burn that stuff from the ground, gases like carbon dioxide go into the sky. Basically, carbon dioxide is the yucky stuff that makes the Earth sick. Like the yucky stuff that comes out of my nose? Sure, kind of like that, Teddy. In really small amounts, those gases are actually good. They make it so that you and I and everyone else can live on Earth. Because without them, Earth would be really cold, like Mars. But because people keep putting so many of these gases in the sky, the Earth's temperature is going up and making lots of bad, weird things happen. Yeah. The Earth definitely sounds like it needs to go to the doctor. Things that reduce your carbon footprint are finding ways to buy less stuff, get reusable water bottles and thermoses instead of buying plastic bottles and styrofoam coffee cups. Using less water and power, so turning off the lights when you leave the room and turning off the sink when you're done using it. And deciding to walk or bike instead of driving everywhere. There are lots of ways to do this, and it's important to talk to your grown-ups about how you and your family can reduce your carbon footprint. And it's even more important for grown-ups to vote for climate-friendly candidates. 
Okay, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to reduce my car bun foot. That's awesome, Teddy. Just remember that it's important to have these conversations, and we can make choices for ourselves and our families, but we shouldn't tell other people what to do. Oh, why not? Well, not everyone can reduce their carbon footprint in the same way. We should always respect people's boundaries, Teddy, and this can be a big change to people's lives. That's a really personal decision. But doesn't everyone want to make the Earth feel better? Well, we think they should, and that's why it's most important to talk to people about it. Don't tell people what they should do, tell them why they should do it. They can make the decision about how on their own. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks so much for helping us out, Miriam. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much for watching Queer Kids Stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos every other Sunday. Check out Miriam's channel, Centoro, where she does amazing videos about climate change. She's also a host of Hot Mess on PBS Digital. If you want to stay up to date on all things Queer Kids Stuff, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. The link is down in the description box below. Those emails are jam-packed with cool stuff like behind the scenes footage and link roundups. And as always, you can support our videos by becoming a patron, patron over on Patreon. That's it. We'll see you next time on Queer Kid Stuff. Happy Earth Day!